Don't talk to me like that. I can talk to you however I want. How do you talk to me? The camera. How do you talk to me? It's rolling. Hi, people. Hello. The camera is rolling. The only thing that's rolling is your roll rolling over the table. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Excuse me. Uh, uh, ignore him. You are not excused. Shh. Um, hi everyone. It's me, Nikocado. Avocado. So today... I decided that we need to have a little feast, a little snack. Orlin, give me my shoe. I haven't even set up the mukbang room yet. Hello, is this in focus? Orlin, what do you want? What? Give me my shoe and don't throw it at me. I'm not gonna throw anything at you. You are going to. Stop, no, stop, I'm not. stop. Come get your shoe and take my shoe. Orlin. I'm speaking. What? Ouch! Don't throw anything in this house. Ah! That's my shoe. No! Ah! Ouch! No! Stop! Put it down. Put it down. This is my parchment paper. I'm telling Nancy. Do you guys? Want to buy my parchment paper? You can buy this on my Amazon affiliates. I'm going to link it for you in the description. People want to know how to do a mukbang. Yes. That was a gift from Hamber. Oh, you can also buy Hamber's scale on Amazon with my special link in the description. I will get a commission if you buy it. I get what? I don't even It's very small. It's like a couple cents or something. Are you selling your fupa too? Because you keep showing it off. Shh. It says negative three. Oh. Stop! I'm trying to do this video, you twit! What are your points on Weight Watchers today? Nothing! This was expensive. Five trees had to die for this. Goodbye. Oh, Shut please! Take my paper! Out! 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 The camera's rolling. I'm sending this to Nancy in the first. Orlin, give me my shins. You guys, today we're having a little snack called Checkers. I'm really excited. No, eat some fruit. Ouch! Oh, give me my shins. Go down there and give me my shins. You're not even fit. Your feet are too Give fat. me my sh Orlin. This is not okay. At least these shoes are rubber. If he mess it, if these shoes get broken, I have nowhere to step. Because I I bought the wrong shoes. Let's actually see how much I weigh. The food's still hot, piping hot, so it can wait five seconds. Jesus, let me go, Joseph. Uh. Hello. It's ready. She's ready for you. Let's see how much I weigh. It shouldn't be that much. I've been on a weight loss journey. I lost 10 LBs last week from getting my heel surgery. By the way, the bandage is still on my foot. I just can't run, which you guys know I run Bye -bye. five. Shh. I run five miles every day historically to keep my woman-like figure. But ever since surgeries, I lost some LBs and also I can't do that much walk. Orlin! Let's see how much I weigh. Here we go. Hello. It's ready. What's wrong? You messed up my jam. You ate all the jam. I don't like jam. It has sugar. I don't want the base. Is that why you ate all of it? Shh. 
Be quiet, you toad. I'm not gonna argue with the hippo. Or the nomad. Come here. Come here right now. 359.8 pounds. Ouch! 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 Put him up! Ouch! 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 Goodbye. I forget. Shh! I forget the number. Hello. Keep those shoes on. I need my CPAP machine. Hurry up, lady, with your lies. How much what? Wait, come here, listen. Listen. I hear something. Hurry up! You broke her. It's broken. It's ready. Oh. She wasn't ready for me. That's why. Oh. So today we're having checkers. I ordered a double cheeseburger. I ordered two large fries, extra large, a regular large fry, a cheese fry, a loaded fry, and some chinos, spicy version. Or what is she doing? She's trying to adjust to all this weight. Can you see what she's doing, please? What's she, she doing? She's trying to decide between 360 and 361. Oh, that's not too bad. I was 365 the other day. I lost 10 LBs. Your water weight is so unstable. It is just water weight. Like the stock market. Well, good thing we don't do that. Anymore. Can you just tell me what she is? She's, She's still in between those two numbers. What is the, what's wrong with you, lady? Me. You're going to get sued by me and the firm. I'm going to get Nancy on your butt. She's ridiculous. You're my gain weight. 288. Point four I gained eight pounds. You're fat. You're literally 290. This man's 290 pounds. I gained And he ha look at him. He has the uncle haircut. Oh, he looks so fat. So how come she's quick for you? Maybe I need my big trusty banana. I know I just added five pounds because that's how much my banana weighs, literally. It's so heavy. I think you're talking about your fupa. Or double chin, actually. Face fupa. I don't have face poop up. Or then she doesn't like me. Why isn't she deciding? I don't know. She's she's like going in circles spinning. I broke her. I think you're too obese. Discrimination. I literally broke my scale. It's your fault, peasants. She's barefoot. Barefoot, maybe that's she likes a bear. 360.8 You lost the pound. I lost one pound, I lost one pound, I lost one pound, and I lost one pound, I lost one pound, I lost one pound, we lost one pound, we lost one pound, we lost one pound, we lost one pound, I lost one pound, and I lost one pound, I lost one pound, I lost one pound, we lost one pound, we lost one pound. And now we celebrate peasants with the king. So I lost one pound. That's pretty good. That's pretty one LBs. Okay. So first things first, this paper. This is what I use under. Oh, that's it. Oh, I ripped it. That's why. I'm like, where'd it go? So this paper. I decided to start linking things. People ask me for five years, where do you get your stuff? It's so high quality, I know, like me. Uh -huh. So this you can buy on Amazon. I'm gonna link it in the description. I signed up for this stupid little affiliate program. So if you buy it, I get like two cents or something, whatever. This one will save for- Hello. Shh. It's ready. For the needy and the poor. I'm just gonna pull this up. Oh my gosh, I'm a sailor on a boat. Did you guys know one time I was on a boat for six hours and I threw up all over this lady? She was really upset. And she kept saying like, it doesn't, Bye. shh. She kept saying, it doesn't smell offensive. I'm referring to what I threw up. I was like, 11. All right, so this is what I do to keep everything clean. And I'm also gonna link this obnoxious scale in the description box too. Don't look at my rolls. 
trying to figure out life, okay? Trying to figure things out. Thank you. Ooh, this light is, there we go. Ooh, okay. We lost one pound, we lost one pound. I lost one pound, I lost one pound. We lost one pound, we lost one pound. I'm doing my mukbang for my peasants. Ah. Don't you guys love coming here every day? You guys come here every single day. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you people? I was going down memory lane. I was watching this one YouTube video from like five years, four years ago. And I saw this comment. I'm like, I still see this person commenting today. This person, I think it's a man. This, well, I don't know. It's really hard to tell from photos. Especially these days. What's going on here? I never know. Everything's all pixelated. People wear masks. I put a mask on, put a hat on. I could be a babushka. Uh, anyways, so this person has been commenting on my page for five years. I'm like, you're still here. Hi. Did you get that too, or is it just me? Uh, or like, come help me now. So let's show you everything I got. Little presents for me. Little presents for me. What do you want now? Buy one, get one free. Ooh. I ordered two cheese. Do you really need to eat cheese? Do you really? Need I ordered two burgers? big, giant ones. These are the baby ones. Okay, you'll eat both of them. That's not the point. If I ordered some, if it's not in the bag, I'm going to sue. I need coupons for emotional distress. Take a photo. I'm sending this to Nancy. Get your phone out. Can you get a liposuction. So I'm sending this distress? to the police. Get your phone out. Say this to the police right here. This is for Nancy. I always send her up. She always, nowadays she says, I need photos for proof or we can't make the proper claim. So. Oh, I have to. Turn, take the photo for Nancy. Thank you. Why you take really two because this, she might not. She, these two. The camera really does have 10 pounds. I'll put copies on my Instagram or my Twitter. Sticks. Now, isn't he attractive? Uh, they didn't fill him up all the way. These are the best fries. Mm. Oh, oh. Yeah, they're cooking beef. Oh, ooh, that's why they're so good. That's why you can't have any because you're a vegan. Fat vegan. Everyone says you go vegan and lose weight. Clearly not. Well, technically, if you're eating a fat, you're eating another vegan, so it's still vegan. Huh? Eating bugs. T turn off the camera. No, because cows are vegan, so if you're eating a cow, you're technically still kind of vegan. How? I don't know. You're eating a vegan. Or like, oh, if you eat vegans, it's not really meat, so vegans can eat vegans. Yeah, because you can't make collagen. Good! They'll get rid of them all faster. Move the camera closer now! You can't make collagen out of plants, so it's still... You're still not eating collagen, so you're still being vegan. Where they have to go... Uh, uh, what's the place where they, uh, they eat each other? Uh, the guinea pig, Papua New Guinea pigs. Okay, so let's start the show, peasants. I'm wearing my merch. You're so ugly. Buy it on my whip. And fat. Orlin, you have some nerve. The people saw what you look like. You're getting fat. You've you gained all your weight. I back. can see my pickle. People say I can see my pickle. Show can me. you see your pickle? Show me. See it? There's my magnifying glass. Are you looking for your brain? Get away! Get away! Get away! Now! Get away from me! My sauce! Oh, that was my sauce! That was my sauce! I ate the fat. I crushed it with my fat fit. Orlin, let's have a mozzarella stick. I love cheese. Now, we just had Red Robin yesterday, and if you didn't see yesterday's video, it was incredible. Red Robin came out with brand new mozzarella sticks, and it made me cry tears of joy. So, oh my god. What? Please put these in the microwave for 30 seconds. Oh. 
click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Goodbye, peasant. Oh my God, it's so good. Even though it needs to be heated just slightly a bit. Oh. I love life. I love food, but I hate being fat. You guys, we have to talk about my health. I'm actually a little disturbed, people, on all these accounts going around saying that I'm clickbaiting my health. Oh, I lied about the heart attack. Excuse me, who are you? Who are you to even say such a thing? Now, I understand. I'm the boy who cried wolf, so you don't believe anything I say. Okay, fine. But you have no right to talk about my medical history. I can, because it's my body and my life. It's not for you to scrutinize and speculate and blah, 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 blah. It's, it, it's really not, it's not. All these low lowlifes, desperate, trying to use me for views. If you think about it, they're using me. Mmm. I love cheese. Oh, wait, watch. Ooh. That's she having Weight Watch the what? whole time. I'm on Weight Watchers Day 4. You heard negative 4 points. I'm on Weight Watchers Day 4. Mmm. Yeah. Negative 4 in points is what you really have to say. You don't know anything about the points. How many points is these french fries? You have not. You have Too not. many points. You, you're ignorant. You actually don't know. And you're ugly. Please bring me some of my Wingstop Ranch. One ranch and one blue cheese. The ranch has the little black speckles, so the blue cheese is... I'm speaking. Oh my god, these are spicy. I'm feeling it in my... My heart goes bumpity bump. You guys, this is really hot. We love cheese. Got to let this cool down. Okay. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Chippers, creepers. Okay, these chip. Okay, these were the chili cheese fries, which are incredible. Uh, 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 uh. from? You, uncle. Oh, you sound look like Santa Claus. He looks like an uncle. You look like Santa Claus. You look like an uncle. You look like a fat uncle. What's your excuse? You've been vegan since October. October. November. December. January. February. Five months. And he looks practically... Show the people your body. At least I don't look like Snorlax. It doesn't matter. I'm not actively trying to lose weight. And also weight. you're shaped like a poke people too. Stop. Oh, he's so skinny. That. Missed. <laughs> Love. Get out of my room, peasant. I haven't even tried my burger yet. Look at him making a mess on my new merch. This is my second shirt, I got another. Because I like to wear it every day and people were commenting, he wears the same shirt every day, he must smell. I don't. So, oh my God, he actually knew the difference. Wow, that surprised me, he's so stupid. But we got blue cheese and ranch from Wingstop. So let's try their cheeseburger. Now, usually I'm not too impressed. Hmm. It's got the onion. It's got the mayo. It's got the cheese. Mm. We love cheese. Dum -dum. We love cheese. Dum -dum. Oh my god, I had a dream last night that I was doing. Doing. And when I say doing, I don't, I don't mean walking. I mean, actively doing, doing, follow my, follow my drift. I was doing, guess who, guess who, it's a YouTuber. 
And I don't know why I had this dream. Because I've never had the. Ooh. Ooh. My heart goes bumpy bump. It's all this exercise. Where's my water? Or then. What? Please bring me some water. A glass of cold water. I was actively doing a YouTuber. It was a he. Obviously. Because that's my preference. Okay, that's all I can get. <laughs> oh. mm. I love their loaded cheese fries. Mm. <clears throat> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse you. Excuse you. Vitamins to make me healthy. Or like, ha ha. What do you need? For you to pass. Did you pass that kidney stone last week? If you can't see what I'm doing, this here is vitamins to make me healthy. You can buy this. I'm going to link it in the description or pin it for you. Best deal. Sorry, Walmart. I like my Walmart. Actually, I don't even go there. I go to Target now because it's more classy. But unfortunately, more of my fans go to Target because they're classy. You know, I have classy fans. Unfortunately, I wish I had the trash to stay at Walmart. Out my way. I was. I literally was on the scooter yesterday too because you know I had a heel sperm surgery. So I actually have reason to like be on one. And there's this girl following me around, taking photos, and I stopped. I went, I looked at her and I went, beep, 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 security, security, security. And she ran away. She got real scared. And I have my bodyguard with me. So if you see me in public and you see this big, big, Big hunk of a man following me around. That's who I cheated my husband with, and he protects me. Oh, mm. here we go. Here we go, go. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, I thought Applebee's had very good muscle. These. This is a tie. Uh, did I say Applebee's? I'm sorry. Applebee's is good though. It's the best thing from their restaurant. Mm. I met Red Robin. We had Red Robin yesterday. They have brand new mozzarella sticks that have crispy on the outside. Mm. So how are you today, people? How are you today, peasants? The sky is blue. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. It's a glorious day to be in my neck of the woods. It really is. Oh, look at that. You know, I've come to a point where I just love being fat. And people keep saying, oh, when he turns 30, he's gonna quit mukbangs. You guys, I used to say that years ago. Times have changed. Things have gotten expensive. I still need money. No one cares about me unless there's food in front of me. Trust me. I mean, I do have my patrons, but that's like a couple thousand people. That's not hundreds of thousands. So, you know. And I just, I don't like that idea of like, oh, when I'm a certain age, I'm not allowed to eat junk food anymore. What am I gonna eat? You know, dang well, if I if I change my diet, I'm gonna go right back to it two days later out of withdrawal. So why even lie? <clears throat> People will be happier if I sat here and like, yes, when I'm 30, I'm gonna just quit my bunks. <clears throat> We're gonna do a weight loss journey. 
Oh, please. God, their french fries are so good. <clears throat> Let's have some more Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Mm. They are spicy, though. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. Let's try it with some ranch. Man, this is thick. Thick like my beep. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do the um, the bacon loaded fries, which I think I like slightly more than the chili cheese, although that's very good chili cheese. I'm gonna put it into here. Ooh, 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 ooh. How could I stop this? Shapers, clippers. Huh? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Fiddlesticks! I got it on my shirt. It's your fault. It's your fault, Ashley. Does Ashley from that place still watch me? Does she do it once with Olivia? <clears throat> Oops, I got it in my eye. It's your fault, Ashley. Uh, I got a lot of new viewers uh, subscribed to me two, a couple days ago. A swarm of a couple thousand of them came out of nowhere. Someone probably made a video. Ah, that's why I love when people make videos about me. People are like, who's that? Ooh, he's fat. Ooh, he's crazy. Subscribe! And don't say, those are the only reasons. There's some other fat, crazy people on this YouTube platform, too. But, uh, I'll just stop there. No one really cares. No one doesn't like me. Let's think about it. Who does it as raw, real, and open? Who's as open as I am? Very few. You can hear the ocean. That's how open I am. It's like a seashell. Oh, oh. Wait, why does that happen? Hey, Siri! Uh-huh. Why can you hear the ocean on seashells? Here's an answer from HowStuffWorks.com. The unique shape of seashells amplifies the ambient sound, which means that any air that makes its way through the seashell produces sound when bounced about in the curved inner surface. I'm so sad. It's like when I found out that the parent trap, cool girl, and fancy girl were not twins. It was the same person. My dreams forever shattered. <laughs> that was a very sad day, let me say. When I found out that Lindsay Lohan was one person, she didn't have a twin from Parent Trap, I cried for weeks. I'm, I'm actually literally tearing up. That was so sad when I found out about that. When I found out about that, I was so sad. I was so sad. <laughs> and now I just found out that the ocean isn't really in the seashells. See, I thought that was just like the ocean letting everyone know where it came from. Its roots, its groundings, its history. No, it's just air. Probably air from all the peasants starving watching this video. <sighs> yeah, all you starving peasants. This is for you. <laughs> I love being a king. It's great. Mm, mm. I love coming here every day. Stopping when I'm 30, that's like in two weeks. Yeah, right. I think people are bringing it up now because my birthday's in like, how many days? 16, 15 days. My real birthday, not the YouTube birthday. 
Not stopping. No, I'm not. We got a double trouble. Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen said they were, they were two, not Lindsay Lohan. I saw on uh, Twitter that her name is not pronounced Lohan, it's pr pronounced Lohan. Mm. Mm. I would drive 10 miles for these cheese sticks alone. So seasoned, such smooth batter, not hard and dry, very greasy. Ah. Anyways, so that news <clears throat> that her name is pronounced a different way was right in between the other news of the world right now. I'm like, this is bad timing. <gasps> like the, uh, like the Applebee's commercial. <clears throat> oh, bad timing. Although I do like to see a little of that. I don't think it's appropriate to have that on TV. Call me old fashioned. I don't want to see anyone shaking it like that on TV. I don't care if I like it. Mm. You know on TikTok? The maker of TikTok. China. It's making sure we're all stupid. Watching stupid people do stupid things. Talking about stupid things to make us stupider. It is in their best interest that the algorithms keep us stupid. It's in their best interests. Think about it. If you could dumb down your enemy, wouldn't you? Yeah. Make them dumb, make them un unaware, unobservant. Then, uh, excuse me, can I turn this down one? I don't think I did. Best interests. And then I, and you know what their TikTok is? Have you ever asked someone? Well, you probably don't know anyone that lives in China. I do. They have TikTok for their version. They're not allowed to be on ours. It's banned, it's blocked. But they have their own version. And she said to me that their TikTok is nothing but people building cars, building computers, solving math equations, talking about literature, promoting good education, promoting competition and honor with brain skills, thinking and thought and development. We're spending our free time watching people talk about blah, blah, blah and stuff in their faces. Over there, people's free time is learning how to make a computer learning how to make a car, learning how to make the next drone, learning how to make cameras the size of your fingernail, learning how to get ahead of all their neighbors so they can strike when they are totally not expecting it. And then they don't, they don't know how to get out of it because they're too stupid because they spent all day watching TikTok, watching people dance. Huh. What do you think about that? I'm all for the arts, I'm all for the entertainment. Trust me. It was my major. I love the arts. I cried yesterday watching Luciano Pavarotti singing on the stage. You guys, did you guys watch that? I linked it. Ooh, let's shout you guys out. Let's see who did it. Let's see who did it. Oh man, I'm really excited for this. I'm all for the arts, I'm all for that stuff. However, 
I think we do have a problem in our country where we like to elevate and put, you know, like when you watch the Olympics, you have the first place, second place, third place, fourth place, the top one at the top pedestal, the highest master, the king of the hill, the one that walks up to the very top of this gold medal and his trophy. That's for being the best. That is who people should look up to and emulate because of a skill, because of a talent, because of an, a positive or an admirable action. We, as a culture, look for the people who are just making the most noise, even for the worst reasons, and we're giving them first place. And we're putting them on our, on our TVs and letting them sing, sing at our Super Bowls. And that, like, that's the problem. Okay? So I'm all for freedom of expression and having. But you want to improve society? Start with the media. <clears throat> Okay, let's see who actually went to the thing and commented. Oh, shout out to you. This has a lot. This is the most comments. I can literally watch your videos all day. I actually do watch you all day. Your videos always play in the back background while I'm working out. You are amazing and have such great things to share. Thank you so much. <sighs> you know it's going to be juicy when it brings out the scale. Yep, it's true. All right, let's see who clicked. Let me go to the link. Watch the Italian singer. Oh, I should have left a comment. It's kind of too late. Oh man, look at all these people. Okay. Sent here by Nick. Chills, just chills. This man was beyond human. I know, I know, Sydney, I know. Oh, uh, this song is so powerful. Uh, Nick sent me, thank you. Uh, Nick suggests this to me. Awesome. Thank you. Nick sent me. Thank you. Sh shout out to Catherine. Shout out to Joanna's babies. Joanna's babies. How many you got? I saw this thing about Nigeria the other day, a documentary. Ooh, are they living it rough? Ooh. First of all, I would not survive because you're not allowed to be by your orientation. They throw you in jail or kill you. Legally. So, that's pretty awful. But besides that little part, they eat dogs. Did you guys know that? They eat, what was it, 12 billion dogs a year. That country. Something like that. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Uh, and... Mm. I used to say all animals are equal. As a vegan, one of my arguments to people was, oh, you're so offended by the dogs, but you're gorging on a chicken or a cow. You hypocrite. Some animals are worthy to you, some are not. You value some life, not others. Hypocrite. I used to say this. My reasoning now is that everything is not equal. We're not all going to hold hands. This world can have equal opportunity, but it can't have equal outcome. There will always be winners and losers. And when it comes to even species of birds, you can even have parrots, for example. Some are super smart. Some are super unaware. Some are super dumb. Some are way more intelligent than others. Some are meteor. Some are faster. Some are slower. And so they're the, remember Mr. Noodle? That was a yellow-crowned Amazon. They have yellow face, little, yellow beak, uh, yellow uh, neck. All these types of different anima Amazons, and they all act differently. Some are just genetically programmed to be more aggressive, to be more violent, to be crazier. No. <clears throat> I will not cry when I step on an ant by accident. I will not cry when I eat uh, an animal for sustenance and food and nutrients. But I will cry when we um, go after dogs who have been engineered by humans to be man's best friend. Those are not natural. In a way, cows aren't either. Either They were bred from water buffaloes from China. Cows are not natural either. A lot of our animals aren't. Chicken is kind of close to the original. It's been bred to be fatter, but in terms of the, the brain. I think that 
if something has more awareness, now all things have awareness. Plants have awareness, it's been proven. Proven. One of my favorite documentaries was in Italy. They had this vineyard of grapes and they did this study where they put all these little speakers throughout the vineyard and they played classical music for, to the grapevines. The, the, the plants grew thicker and faster and greener. The fruit tasted sweeter. And then they, they did an experiment where they played heavy metal and death rap. Or not death, death rap. Heavy metal or punk, like, like, rah, 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 you know, like, boop, 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 boop. God, imagine if they played rap. I don't think they believe in rap in Europe, thank goodness, but they played the equivalent of trash, which is also death metal or whatever it's called, punk. Plants got diseases, they got sick, they started wilting, they got uh, fungal root infections, the fruits started tasting bitter and sour. It's incredible, look it up. And that's just from the plants listening to the music. Their sense of awareness is different, but they still have awareness. So that's an argument to the vegans as well. All that corn you chopped down, boo hoo. <laughs> but I understand they don't have, you know, central nervous system, but they're still aware to an extent. However, if you're willing to point that out, well, these animals are more aware and conscious than these plants because they contain this, then that shows that there's other ways to divide them even more. Okay? A bug and a dolphin are different wavelengths. <clears throat> and I think the, the humane thing to do is have animals bred and raised for consumption. Not go after the endangered ones, not go after, don't eat, you know, the, the, le the little things left. You know, people go and, you know, rifle down those elephants. There's very few left. And don't eat them either. People are eating like turtles and dogs. No, 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 no. Dog was, dog was bred not for eating. Dog was created for loving. That's what I think. Ugh, let's change the subject. Ugh, how can I eat thinking about these things? Ugh. I'm sorry if you're eating with me. It looks like I've barely eaten. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mm. I'm fidgeting with my brightness. <clears throat> Now that's my opinion. <clears throat> and I could go on and on, you know. We were designed to have meat too. Where you get collagen on plants, you don't. Where you get cholesterol, good cholesterol from plants, you don't. You can get bad cholesterol in your body from eating lots of like vegetable oils, but good cholesterol you don't get from plants. You don't get collagen. You don't get EPAs and DHAs. You can get ALA uh, fatty acids, but don't, they don't convert well in your body. It's like a 2% conversion rate. Not good. <clears throat> Would you get in an airplane if I had a 2% chance of flying? No, you wouldn't. So, whether you like it or not, we're not designed to be vegan. Nope. If anything, we should be eating lots of bugs, lots of insects. But who wants to do that? Nobody. That's what we really should be eating. You know how healthy they are for you? Selenium, zinc, iron, <clears throat> good cholesterol. <laughs> should we should all be eating bugs. You know they do that in Asian countries. They, they eat like maggots and stuff. Oh, oh can't even think about it. And they're healthier. They live. They live five times longer than us. The vegans keep dropping like fries. A vegan died two two days ago. Did I tell you? Dropped down dead from a stroke. It's not bulletproof. Don't fall for it. It's not bulletproof. He might lose weight on it. That's what Orland's doing. He's losing his weight, but he better eat an egg soon. Mmm. Or some cheese. I love cheese. Dum -dum. I love cheese. Dum -dum. You love cheese. Dum -dum. Yes, you do. I love cheese. <sighs> 
Kings will have you say. I don't know how Luciano Pavarotti was singing. I'm out of breath from singing two notes. And he was over there belting all these beautiful, beautiful notes. You guys, these flaming Hot Chinos are very flaming Hot. Like, it's intense. Let me tell you, it's intense. Mmm. These french fries are good. Very salty. Too salty. Orlin brings it up. He's, he's telling the truth. Very salty. Too salty, if you ask me. But, I think Popeyes is better. You know what? We're going to do Popeyes tomorrow. I think Popeyes has the best french fry. Because it's this type of seasoning, but not as salty. But just as greasy, just as crispy, just as soft on the inside. Not dry. Not dry. Oh, Popeyes does it good. Oh, yeah. Popeyes does it so well. I need more water. Orlin. What? What? We'll have to fart. Let's fart when he comes in here. I'll face toward him. What do you want? He's <sighs> I pushed and nothing came out. Are you out of breath, Sweetie? I am. I was trying try to fart. He took my mug. Was he? Is he psychic? Can he read my? Did I tell him to bring me water? Maybe. Uh, he's listening and spying on me. He can hear me this whole time. I'm telling you, these walls are paper thin. Well, not these. This is someone's apartment. But I mean, the walls within the apartments are paper mache. You know these houses here are made of paper. What's wrong with America? I need to go to England where everything's made of stones and bricks. I'm How did you know I wanted water? I didn't even ask you. I can just see it. Are you sp- huh? I can just see that you need water. I mean, something has to thin out the blood. Um, seriously, were you eavesdropping? Were you eavesdropping? Were you spying on my campaign? You slippery, sneaky, snaky spy in the grass. Off with his head. Mm. Uh, I sound like uh, Wendy Williams when she said, to death, to the death, all of them, to death. <laughs> oh, there's a conspiracy that she was speaking from personal, personal grievances. Because what she was talking about was, has something to do with like people going after her money. Apparently people are fighting after her money. You know, uh, Whitney Houston, when she died, she left nothing for her children. Nothing. She spent all of it. She's like, I'm not gonna have people fighting over me for my money. I'm gonna spend it on anything I want. Because I earned it. You didn't earn it. What do you what do you have entitlement to my money? All these managers and agents, networks and PRs and assistants and personal management, all these people wanted. Michael Jackson's children are still fighting over the money, aren't they? It causes more problems. And then people don't want to ever work or contribute or come up with stuff in their heads. Or I was watching, who was it? Uh, what celebrity was it? Brad Pitt? No. It was some, some, some. Was it Anderson Cooper? It might have been Anderson Cooper. He said in an inter interview that he's leaving nothing to his kids because he doesn't want them to be dependent to wait for it, and then to become bums in, in the slums and do nothing because they just want to live off daddy. They didn't earn it. They might provide a little bit to help them. When I say equal opportunity, not equal outcome, you know, send them to school. We can all go to school. Give them the same playing field. But don't just hand them mansions and cars and Ferraris and all this stuff. They're never going to do anything. It's rare. You might have some, but most won't.
I think that's a good philosophy. You know, I... And people, they say we do it out of, the, out of the name of love. Well, I hate kids. <laughs> so, I would leave them nothing. I would leave, leave them a note that says, work hard. Daddy loved you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I would leave them dilly squid. <clears throat> I'd rather give it to, well, I don't even want to say charity because they, there's a lot of corrupt charities. You think you're sending your money to a good place and then you don't know what's happening to your money. You actually don't. You actually don't. You really don't. Especially if it's large sums of it, like celebrities, like does Anderson, I guess Anderson Cooper might have a lot. I don't know. You never really know how much people have. But uh, like you know, you would think Whitney Houston would have millions. Nope, she had she had overdraft negative five hundred thousand dollars or something. She she was in the negatives in some of her bank accounts. And uh, Luciano Fabarotti, that Italian singer that I had you guys listen to yesterday. When he passed away, he had no money left. None. And he had earned, he had earned and spent over $10 million in his lifetime. Something like that. Look it up. He earned $10 million and he spent $10 million. So by the time he passed away, his wife at the time got nada. Nothing. You never know. People have secret spending addictions, shopping addictions, worrying addictions, or... They'd rather give. They'd rather know where it's going before they go. If you know what I'm saying, I want to know where it's going before I'm going. Because when you leave it behind, it's going to get into the wrong hands, greedy, grubby little hands, and it's going to make society worse if it's left to your kids. Yep. I think so. I think so. What do you think? Would you leave money to your snot-nosed kids? Those little rats. Uh, I would not. Zero. <coughs> I would spend it and use it and know exactly where it's going. That actually requires some homework. You know what I mean? Like, I know someone that does charity work. He actually flies to Africa. He literally flies there himself. Gets off the airplane. Goes and helps the people. Physically buys them a cow. Physically buys them a lamb. Physically buys their dinner. Physically pays the locals to fix their roof. Physically, physically, physically. So he knows he's not sending it to an organization where the CEO needs to make 500 grand that year. And then your your big old chunk, Angelina Jolie, went to making the rich richer. But you thought you were helping the poor. Oh, no. The peasants got none of that, Angelina. They saw none of it. And the peasants stayed peasants. <clears throat> know what I would do? I already told you what I If I ever get... Can you get any up later? Can you put the light straight? You're not straight. Doesn't matter. Please touch right here, the focus. It's a touch screen. You guys, when you see us do these shows, I'm always like, touch my face. There? Touch my. <sighs> Shine bright like a diamond. See, I'm a great singer because I actually had music education. I was very lucky. I'm curious, how many schools in this country have music education? Hey, Siri. How many schools in the United States offer free public school music education? Okay, I found this on the web for how many schools. What? 1.3 million elementary school students don't have access to music classes. And so their, uh, their photo has a black and Hispanic kids playing clarinets. So African-American and Latino students do better in school, have better graduation rates, and a better chance of getting into college when they are exposed to music at a young age, ongoing basis. I would say all students. I would say Asians. I would say everybody. I think all humans do better. I know I did better because of music. I don't think it's just black people. I don't think it's just Hispanic people. I think all people do better. 
let me tell you, music has been shown through proof that it helps enrich your mind, expand it, and helps you start accessing different parts, different pathways. You start connecting to, to other life. Absolutely, I mean, it's not even rocket science. You stick, you stick five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You stick all those little people, ten years. You stick them in a, a year old into a, a violin, into an orchestra when they're ten. Their mind will start working differently than had you not. Everybody, everybody, benefits. Why do you think, I mean, when I played violin, I knew people that were starting at five years old. The Russians are really into this. And the Chinese. Chinese, um, Chinese and Russian, they put their kids into ballet. Russians do ballet. They do dance. They do, they do piano. They do violin. Chinese, they do the same thing. They start when they're two years old. As soon as they pop out of the womb, they're putting a violin. Here you go, you're gonna play. Play. Like a mean Russian mom. Have you ever heard the word tiger mom? I saw a video uh, on what would you do. It was about- you call me? No. I have you on my head. Good. So I'm on a that's speech. That's the only place I have you in. I'm uh, good. And it was this, uh, I don't know what, I don't know, was she Chinese or something, but an Asian lady, they called her a tiger mom, and she was like, you're gonna play, you're gonna play. Cause they know it makes you smart. Er, smarter. It won't create geniuses, but it's definitely gonna make us a little bit better. So anyways, long story short, that's how I would contribute. I'm not just gonna write a check to any charity. I mean, some obviously are better than others, of course. But I'd rather personally fund. Now, if I had to fund instruments, <clears throat> pay the salaries of music teachers, fund anything, I mean, the rooms, the, the music books, the, the instruments, the insurances, for all those millions, of, I would have to pay tens of millions of dollars. So I couldn't do the whole country, but wouldn't that be amazing? Um, number... Or I'll do percentage. Percent of USA schools without music. 40% of high schools don't require coursework in the arts for graduation. More than 8,000 public schools in the US currently have no music programs. That was 10 years ago, 2010. And that's why we're stupid. That's why we're stupid and not smart like me. All human beings would benefit from having music. So that's what I would do. I would personally make the Nikocado Fund. And I would literally go to the, the school district board, superintendents, or whatever you would call these things. Say, hi, I'm going to give you money, but you're going to tell me exactly what you're doing with it. I'm going to, you're going to hand me and my, I'm going to have to hire a team. We're going to go through the itinerary lists, itemized lists of the tubas, of the saxophones, of the violins. I'm going to pay for it all. I'm going to put the, <laughs> yeah. No more rap. I would ban rap from schools. Rap, death metal, and screamo. Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown-up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. If you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.